So we know Kite's pretty strong, but how strong? Is he stronger than Godspeed? A dog gone? What about like Hisaka or Silva? Where does Gene Stewart fall into the category of strength in the Hunter Hunter first? Let's get into it, man. For starters, let's scale Kite based off the biggest threat in Hunter Hunter verse to date and off the only things we've really seen him fight, the Chimera Ants. So that's simple but hard. Cause Kite goes from one tapping 20 to 30 plus soldier ants and one tapping squadron leaders to essentially being one tap. Was Kite one tap because he was really completely outmatched? Was it not because of Gon and Kilua? What if he got destroyed either way? How strong is that squadron leader that he once had? Let's talk about Yunji. Let's get into Yunji. So this may be a video in its own right, being raking the squadron leaders themselves, but we know Yuji isn't the strongest. He may have had decent potential and could have been stronger if he had time to train like Chitsu or Leo, but he didn't. And that's a different video. But how did he compare to them? Because it kind of matters. I think he was somewhere in the middle ground. See, Yuji was one of the first leaders we seen, and he kind of gave the strongest kind of vibes at first when he was causing all the ruckus doing whatever he wanted eating humans when he wasn't supposed to and Colt who I also don't think is the strongest but he had enough strength to keep the other leaders in control he didn't try to really stop Yunji he really just let him do his own thing and it was kind of a he's too much to deal with kind of thing so he was in that strength category also he had two other squadron leaders under his command working with him when he left to do his own thing yeah they all end up getting one tap but that that just goes to show that he wasn't just fodder and Kite could have just died to a different squadron leader. I don't believe that because when we see the, the strongest squadron leaders that we seen like Chi Tu and Leo fighting other strong hunters like Moro, they got easily handled. Moro didn't have much trouble, mainly due to inexperience. But since Moro and Kite are necessarily in the same category right now, since both of them essentially took on the role as leaders of their own teams, I don't think Kite would have had a problem with any of the squadron leaders, strength or not. And now, what about Chi Tu? Is she just that? That much stronger we know it was a one-sided fight but why was kite really just that much weaker now i really don't know but i'm gonna figure it out towards the end of the video and i'm gonna let you know i think personally kite is stronger than moro only because of the fact that we only seen kite do two draws and both of the draws he didn't necessarily really like the third draw doesn't count because that's what the fight with pito we didn't even see what it did well we know what he did but we didn't you know and he has on par similar feats with moro moro fought multiple squadron leaders and also fought a chimera and royal guard yet kite's two draws leaves him in the same strength of moral only two of his draws so is kite just like stronger than the royal guards if moral is like very 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 low royal guard level and kite with only two of his draws is already at that level let's look into it man first i want to say i only think kite drew that third number that he did against piso because of gon and Kilua as a safety aspect but i'm not saying that he wouldn't have drew like a strong number like it would have been a weak draw if they weren't there i would feel like it would have been a better fighting draw and i say this because if he wasn't going to be useful later on in the story power wise then why would the author just keep him going and keep him in the in the series why didn't he just let him die and not only that but his own aura thing seeing everything that was going on and all he gave was a ooh when he drew that number as of like ooh, this may be a tricky one and from what we know that's kite's personal thing so i can assume that if kite dies then that aura thing dies too unless that aura thing just have a death wish then wouldn't he be more scared if he's seen that there was zero chance of beating pizza in any form of in any form of fashion and he drew that number instead of a better number wouldn't he be a little bit more scared if he knew it was can straight up just death either way on top of that when kite figures out that gone killed pizza he's not in the form where he's like you beat that kind of monster with that kind of aura he's in a mood to where he's like all right that's cool i'm more focused on being stronger so when i am handicapped and do have to protect others i can still beat a monster of that category not saying that kite would have won that was his reaction to it it wasn't like a that was someone like netero i can never beat that and you beat that your potential is unmatched like no it wasn't of that fa it, it wasn't like he was straight out lead what i'm saying is kite more than likely would have had a better draw and put up a way better fight up against pito if Gon and Kilo weren't there. Like a better fight than Moro and Poof. Now we knew Poof could have beaten Moro at any time. I think if Kite were to fight Pito, it would have been a 
Pito knew she was going to win, but she could have lost if such and such were to happen. Sort of a Netero versus Miriam kind of draw out. Netero did crazy attacks and they were strong and they were more than likely injure Pito if it was Kite versus Pito in that fashion. But Pito knew she was going to win at the end of the day. I don't know if I can say Kite beats Pito. I don't think he would have either way, but I for sure say he would be in the Royal Guards field of strength. Like I think Kite will beat Yuppie. After seeing Yuppie versus Godspeed, I think Kite would beat Yuppie. I, I don't know if Kite would beat Poof. I know it will be a way closer matchup, but I don't think Kite would be poof. My personal ranking of the Royal Guards is being Yuppie being the weakest, Pito being the strongest, and uh, Poof being a close second. So I think Kite would be more of a close third to, to Poof. And y'all may be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Kite being at Royal Guard strength level? I don't even think he'd be Yuppie. Here's why I think he's stronger than Yuppie and is like maybe in Poof category. Because like I said, we only seen total of three draws, right? two of them being weak draws third one we don't know but there's three times i remember was that a gang whoa <laughs> there's three times i'm a civilian over here there's three times i remember pito mentioning someone's strength and being happy that there's a amount of strength over here outside of king miriam and that's being kite adult gone and netero we seen what happened with kite with netero he bitch slapped her titties back into the queen's womb with adult gone he slapped and licked them pussy lips endlessly until she was lifeless we see her get handled like fodder against netero and she's happy and is lunging for that strength like how she did with kite she did the same thing with gone even though she was scared and knew she was about to die so every single other time that she she mentioned someone's strength and was happy for that strength she was handled like a rag doll but with kite a handicapped kite she still thought that kite put up a good enough fight and that's not just golden kilo a handicapped he still lost an arm so a one-handed golden kilo a kite was still strong enough to be mentioned as a strong person in pito's eyes out of only three other people outside of king Marion. So I think Kite is a Royal Guard level, maybe mid-ish Royal Guard level, give or take. But what about the other hunters? Could Kite be Hisaka, Silver, Crowo, Godspeed, Kilua, Adult Gone? Well, all of these are videos on their own, some of them being one minute shorts on YouTube and some of them being maybe 10 minute videos. But at the end of the day, I say Kite would beat some and not others. But that's it, man. That's my honest truth on Kite's strength. I think he's crazy underrated. And with him being a Chimera ant now, Hey, Chimera and Kite might be top five nin uses by the end of the series. Just saying. But hopefully y'all enjoy it, bro. Stay tuned for the content. I've got nothing but more content coming for y'all. Catch y'all in the next video.